Good afternoon. Pleasure to be here. My name is Michael Hamburger, and I'm the Chief Sales Officer for Planet Wealth. I think you guys and gals may have heard of us by now. It's my privilege here to share with you a little bit about social capitalization and really how that plays into your network equation. There we go. So a little bit about Planet Wealth. Um, we're basically an ecosystem that's been designed to bring capital to community. Essentially what we've done is we've eliminated the cost and complexity of raising, earning, and growing capital. And so what we're gonna discuss here today is a little bit about what things used to look like and what things really look like today in our, our current environment. You know, before the Jobs Act, the barrier of entry, the cost to, for an entrepreneur or a, a thought, business thought leader to bring something to market was virtually unbearable for many, many entrepreneurs and soon-to-be business owners. You know, preparing an offer, you would be looking anywhere from twenty to $50,000 to put together a PPM. Um, if you were going to do it in today's digital world, you'd want to make sure you had a website and a nice high-quality sales video. And I can tell you I know firsthand that sales websites are $20,000 plus. A nice, really well-cut video, well-edited video, you're looking north of $25,000. When you want to take that to market, you want to really bring an audience. To, in today's digital marketing, you want to look at what is that cost per user going to cost? You would call it a client acquisition cost. So really, to build those audience, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars. Truly, anywhere north of twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars is really just a drop in the bucket. As well as having the technology backbone, you know, there's lots of websites out there that you could bring this to. But in today's world, you probably want to own your own technology. That's really where you see the multiplication uh, factor happen on the valuation of companies. And so, on a super low end, you're talking ten thousand dollars. You know, if you look here, just the cost. If you're looking north of one hundred thousand, one hundred twenty-five, one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. And again, this is a us going on the very low end of things today. Now, I know you've heard us talk about the Jobs Act since you've been here at the conference today as well as yesterday. Has anybody not heard of the Jobs Act yet? All right, I'm in the right room, perfect. Um, you know, historically, not only was there a high barrier of entry, but it was also an arduous, arduous process. Uh, not only were the costs there, but the, just the road to get through the marketing side and to bring an offer to the table uh, for many people, it was unbearable. It just really prevented them. To raise a million dollars, you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get there. So what we've seen today is with the Jobs Act is, you know, we've, we've opened up new avenues, or they've opened up new avenues for us to bring, bring offers to the table. Before the Jobs Act, companies couldn't advertise on TV their offerings. They couldn't put it in the newspaper. They couldn't put it in the radio. It was, there was really not a direct-to-consumer type mentality. Um, what we've opened up, what's been opened up today to us is a brand new opportunity. Um, we, what, what it's created is direct solicitation. I know you're seeing this on websites. You know, our CEO, Greg Sossman, this morning talked about how the first response to Jobs Act was crowdfunding. And truly, we're crowdfunding 2.0. I'm just curious, anybody have a network? Don't all jump at once. Anybody have a network, right? I believe everybody has a network, and one of my mentors, Jim Rohn, used to say, your net worth is directly attributed to your network. And I think that man was brilliant in what he said. He said that long before there was this thing called the internet. We can all thank Al Gore for inventing the internet for us, so thank you, Mr. Al. You know, they don't call it an algorithm by accident, right? Just so you know. What we've done here with Planet Wealth is we've created an ecosystem, right, where Anybody with a network, whether you realize what your network is or not, has social capital. And that may be a new term for, for a lot of people. If you've got 10 followers, you've got 10 friends, you've got social capital. If you've got that little mobile pocket brain that many of us carry in our pocket, an iPhone, and Android, you know, you've got social capital in there. It's your address book. It's the people that know you, like you, and trust you. And so many people, when they're coming in out with a new idea, a new concept, who are the first people they go to? They go to their friends and family. What well, we here at Planet Wealth is we've packaged up a system, an ecosystem, that all the tools necessary, all the resources necessary to package the deal up and bring it to your friends and family, as well as beyond to your social capital, your social networks. In addition, we've removed a lot of the complexity 
We've removed a lot of the cost, and we've helped expedite the speed. So while that idea is fresh on someone's mind and they have the desire to bring it to market, we arm them, arm them with the tools and the resources necessary at a really fair price. For a lot of the stuff that we do, it's free. You know, we're living in a time right now where never before has the little guy, folks like you and I in the room here, never before the people that are not on Wall Street had so much power when it comes to bringing an offer to the market. And so what we're gonna talk about today is really some of those no cost, low cost ways of doing it. Before the Jobs Act, you'd have to use a telephone, maybe postal mail, a lot of smiling, a lot of dialing, any Wall Street brokers in here? Former Wall Street brokers in here? I hope I'm not causing any PTSD. I'm sure you sat at a desk somewhere, huddled in, on the phone, making dial after dial after dial. And then technology got really good, right? You had an auto dialer, possibly, where when somebody said hello and it was a human, you got to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I used to work for the telecom companies back when it was 25 cents a minute. So I know it was way more expensive further down the track, the further you, you, know, further you go away from uh, unlimited long distance. But that was an arduous and inexpensive process. Who in the room has email? Let me, let me ask it a different way since you guys are so responsive today, thank you. Who doesn't have email? All right, everybody has email. You probably have something called an address book or a contact list. So to be able to put out a mass communication is literally a couple clicks of a button. We can thank all the, all the brains that put that together for us. You know, back before the Jobs Act, you know, trying to get a message out, even if it wasn't in the financial space, to put an ad on TV, super, super expensive, right? To put an ad on the Super Bowl, we're talking about millions of dollars. To put it in a, a local market, you're talking about tens of thousands of dollars. But now we've got this great tool. It's a no-cost tool called Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So we have low-cost, no-cost tools that are readily available at our fingertips. So let me just ask, I want to see by a show of hands, and your participation really will make a difference in my life today, so I really want you to participate with me. Who in the room has Instagram or Facebook? Okay, who doesn't? Anybody? Thank you. All right, who has Twitter? Who doesn't have Twitter? Everybody, okay, one, got it. Um, LinkedIn, who has it? Who doesn't? All right, we got, we're batting 100 now. TikTok, who doesn't have TikTok? Who, who doesn't have kids that don't have TikTok? Right? I'm a TikTok dancer at home, just so you know. What about Snapchat? Who doesn't have Snapchat? Doesn't have it. All right, about 50-50. Who has a cell phone? Anybody not have a cell phone and you're willing to admit it? Or how about who has a flip phone and you're willing to admit it? Right, everybody has a smartphone these days. And what about email? Anybody not have email? So right there, we have an opportunity to leverage social capital. Right there, we have a way for our end users at Planet Wealth to literally bring, a, bring a, an idea, a concept, and we have every tool necessary. And you know, we're investing millions and millions of dollars to build our community. But the idea of what we have as well is the social capital that each issuer each inventor, if you will, brings to our platform, and then they readily have it available to go to their friends and family around, and to really bring that in and create the momentum and get the steam rolling. So, you know, the idea at Planet Wealth, I know you've heard from a lot of our, a lot of our team members, my partners here, uh, you've heard about a lot of it from Greg, our, our CEO, you've heard it from Ross, our CMO. Uh, tomorrow you're gonna get to see a really nice view inside how the system actually works. Lance uh, Woodson, our CIO, is gonna show you guys how that works. Um, but the reality is this, the community that we're creating, we create a turnkey environment. The social capital, the access that people have today is unprecedented to where it was just say five, 10 years ago. Where I know you guys are seeing a shift in the FinTech world, you're seeing a shift in the technology world where finance and technology have really blended into one. And I, and I truly feel that we're blasting off a ship the Planet Wealth ship, that it will assist people in this capital. We're opening up the capital markets. People are able to leverage 
their own access, their, their, their communities, their social capital, and what we plan on seeing is really, like I said, the community driving the capital. So I'd love to answer some questions if you guys or gals have any questions for me. Um, I know it's been really cool to be over at the booth here. If you guys haven't stopped by, please do. We've got some really cool Planet Wealth swag to share with you. But the questions throughout the last two days have really changed. Yesterday, I was like, what the heck are you guys doing? It's a cool name, it's a cool logo, what are you doing? And it's been really neat to see the light bulbs for people go, to go off and say, wait a second, I see what you're doing now, and we're not competition, we're collaboration. So I wanna invite you to stop by our booth at any point during the event, ask us some questions, let us show you a little bit how the system works tomorrow, jump on our list so we can share as news comes down the pike for you, and share with you a little bit more as the Planet Wealth as the rocket ship gets lifted off the launch pad. So with that, I wanna appreciate, I say thank you, I appreciate your time here today. And with that, thank you.